It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. All of a sudden, people are jeering at you and calling you names, and you need friends, and you don't feel like you've got friends. And it only takes one, and then it's a domino effect that they, they, they cause others to, to side with them. Being a redhead affects 1-2% of the population. It is brought on by two recessive genes on chromosome 16. Gingerism is discrimination of people with red hair. It is a form of bullying that ranges from name calling such as Ginge Minge, Ginger Nut, Red's in the Bed to more extreme cases where a family from Newcastle had to move twice due to the discrimination they faced for being red hair. It's unacceptable to discriminate against people with certain features over others. In May 2009, Adam Bailey, a schoolboy from Elmston, took his own life because he was bullied for being red-haired. At primary school, yes, but I think the majority of the bullying, I think, was in secondary school. Children have developed more, a little bit more confident in um, being away from a coddle society. They go into secondary school and they become little demons if they're going to, and I think they become more inventive. Certainly in my time, it was much more name-calling, whereas um, perhaps a little bit bullying, as in pushing around if you're a little bit different, but in terms of today, I think in the past it was much more aggressive in terms of words. Even in Nazi Germany, people with red hair were banned from getting married because they were feared to produce deviant offspring. I think it's made me feel more for children who are going through a hard time, so if anything it has awarded me with a little bit more sympathy perhaps. The discrimination of red-haired people can also be seen when UK Labour Deputy Leader Harriet Harman called Chief Secretary to Treasurer Danny Alexander a ginger rodent, to which he responded by producing his own ironic ginger beer. Harman later was forced to apologise. I think ginger people are discriminated, obviously, by their hair colour. Um, I don't think they should be because we're all different and um, that's the way we're meant to be. Um, and plus, most of the ginger people are meet are really funny. It's good. It's people, whatever colour skin, whatever disfigurement, whatever colour hair, just lead normal lives. We are just all unique. We all have different fingerprints. We have different ways of being. We have different likes and dislikes. We have different coloured hair. And it's great to see that it's not going to encumber anybody against what they set out to achieve. Every year in Holland, thousands of redhead people attend a festival that not only celebrates being ginger, but also art and cultural events relating to being ginger. I think anything different, particularly if you're a child, anything different and somebody picks up on it. If they're that way inclined, they want to distract from themselves, they will see anybody who's got a shortcoming or who's got something different about them, whether it's a facial impairment, whether it's a birthmark, different coloured hair, and they will pick up on it and they will start and then it breeds more and more people bullying. I think ginger people are just like anybody else, just as valuable and just as, just as much an asset to society like anybody else. Some people would uh, discriminate too much about people, some of us as playing with race and as being racist, as like different levels, as one where you can all have a laugh and a joke about it. I think in terms of the bullying, etc., I think it spoils your childhood if you have something tainted like that. So you don't tend to look back on your childhood as a good experience, and I think that's a shame. In 2005, an episode of the popular TV show South Park was one of the causes of National Kick Ginger Day. National Kick Ginger Day is a day where people with red hair are subjected to physical abuse, which includes kicking and being ganged up on. I don't have perhaps as much confidence as I would like because I'm very aware, I think you're aware when you're younger that you're different anyway because obviously with redheads as well usually comes freckles so you've got perhaps a lighter skin and then you go red in the sunshine so all these things of having red hair does lead from one thing to another. Um, so I think you do spend, I've probably spent a lot of time worrying over something that's needless whereas you could really just face the world and just get on with it and enjoy yourself. It's alright It's alright